ร่วมเซสชันเวิร์กช็อปพิเศษกับคุณวอร์เรนเรดลิกนะครับอ่าคุณวอร์เรนเรดลิกเนี่ยเป็นลอยเยอร์แอนพิเศษลอยเยอร์แอนคอนเทนต์ครีเอเตอร์คอนเทนต์ว่าพิเศษลอยเยอร์ now full time content creator คุณวอร์เรนเนี่ย so I just want to talk to you about Tesla the company and a lot of people when they think about Tesla they think it's a car company they sell cars And their business is selling cars, and their business will always be selling cars. It, it, it is true that 90% of Tesla's revenue last year was from selling cars or related to selling cars. But they actually have a very fast-growing energy business. But even with that, the future of Tesla is artificial intelligence, AI, and robotics. So this right here looks like a car to you. To me, this is a robot with four wheels. This is not really just a car. This is a, and I own two Teslas. I've driven about a hundred thousand kilometers with the car driving itself, where I touch the steering wheel to make sure it knows I'm still there, but I don't control the car. The car controls itself, and I've been doing that since 2021. So for three years, I've experienced Teslas driving themselves, and in 2021, they were not very good. Today, they're very, very good. And they're getting better. And in many ways, they're already better than human. And soon, they will be much better than human. So, the future of Tesla, as far as cars go, is not selling cars to customers. It's selling rides. Everyone has probably ridden in a Grab ride. And in America, we use Uber or Lyft are comparable to Grab. Tesla is going to develop, as already developed, and they're already they're already running this. In-house, as in Tesla employees already use this service, a robo taxi network, like Grab, like Uber, but no driver, no human. The car drives itself. So you're waiting for a car, and this pulls up, and there's no one in it, and you get in, and it costs less than a Grab ride, and you don't have to tip the driver, which is not that common in in America. It's very common to tip the driver, and in America, it's somewhat common. That the driver is unpleasant, and and women, for example, are sometimes uncomfortable with the driver of their Uber. For some reason, they feel unsafe with the driver. I I think this happens less in Thailand, but maybe I'm wrong. Tesla has announced that in late 2025, they will start what's called an unsupervised robo taxi network in Texas and California, which means the cars drive themselves. There's no human in the car. Um, there are other companies doing this already. Waymo does this. There's, I, I think, there's a couple companies in China that are doing it. But Tesla is fundamentally different. So the early network will be mostly Model Y and Model 3. This is a Model Y. The initial start will be fairly low volume, a small number of cars, proving the concept, showing we can do this. This will work. I focus more on the United States because my audience on YouTube is the United States, and because The United States economy is slightly larger than the Thai economy, or much, much larger than the Thai economy. Um, the value that's created by robots—I'm going to talk about this a little bit. The value that's created by robotics is much larger in America and Europe because the labor it replaces is more expensive. Right? Minimum in America, a simple job might pay 20 U.S. dollars an hour. In Thailand, minimum wage is $10 a day. So the value of replacing a robot is, everyone's here because of my Instagram. I post sexy photos on Instagram, right? <laughs> so I mock, so I mock. My bikini photos are excellent. So the the current situation, you guys haven't missed much. Um, the current situation in America is that we have Uber and Lyft. Uber is larger, and taxis, which you have taxis here. The average cost in America of a Uber ride or a taxi ride is three dollars a mile, which is about 65 baht per kilometer. Like in Thailand, in Vietnam, in Malaysia, the human driver is not very expensive, right? A Grab bike driver or a Grab car driver does not make a lot of money, but in America they make a lot of money. So the most expensive part of an Uber ride or a Grab ride in a wealthy country is the human. If you remove the human, you've lowered the cost of the ride. And that means you can lower the price of the ride and still make money. The average American who owns a car spends about 70 cents a mile. So it was three dollars a mile for a ride. It's 70 cents a mile to own a car. If you think about it, how much do I spend on my car every year? 
how many kilometers do I drive? So people spend about 15 baht per kilometer on their car, maybe it's 10. I don't know if people have ever, if anybody's done the calculation, how much does it, and it depends what car, right? If you own a Honda City and you drive 50,000 kilometers a year, your cost is less. If you own a BMW and you drive 10,000 kilometers a year, your cost is more. My expectation is that when the robo-taxi network starts, it won't replace people who own cars. It will replace Uber and taxi rides and grab rides. It will start in wealthy countries first, eventually it will come to Thailand. I expect that the early days it will cost $2 a mile, or 43 baht per kilometer, compared to 65 baht per kilometer. So if I have a choice of riding in a robo-taxi where there's no smelly driver, who's not scary, and I don't have to worry about a tip, then it's easy. And the profit is very high. As they come out with more and more robo-taxis, as the supply of robo-taxi rides increases, the price comes down, right? Right now, if you said, I want to go for a ride in a, in a robo-taxi, well, there aren't any. It doesn't matter how much you pay. When there's, only, when there's a small number of them, you can't price it too low or people have to wait. At some point, the price of a ride will fall below 70 cents a mile in the US and most Americans will stop owning cars. And at some point, the price will fall below 15 baht per kilometer and most Thai people who own cars will stop owning cars. This is gonna take a lot longer to get here, but we're heading towards a world where, um, and there's two things. In America, the average person drives their car about 15,000 miles a year, which is, I think, 25,000 kilometers a year. Probably in Thailand, people drive 20,000. Do you know how many miles, how many kilometers a year you drive? Um, 20,000, 15,000? I'm not a good example. Maybe, Maybe you are a good example. Okay. 10,000 kilometers a year? I drive 15 kilometers a day times 360. I'm 200 working day. Uh, no, I'm not going to drive 5,000? I'd say it's give and take. Okay, so let's say, let's say somebody drives 10,000 kilometers a year, right? The robo taxi is going to drive 100,000 kilometers a year. And, Ameri and, and maybe 150,000 kilometers a year. So you take the cost of the vehicle, and I don't know if you guys know the word, do you know the word? Am if you amortize a car over 10,000 kilometers a year versus amortizing a car over 100,000 kilometers a year, the cost of the car per mile is much lower. If the car uses electricity instead of gasoline, my, I, I spend about, when I, when, I, when I was in America, my cost of electricity was about one-fifth 20% of my cost of gasoline for a gas car. So you save money on the amortization, you save money on the, the, the fuel or the electricity, and you save money on the human. And all of a sudden, it's much less, and you're able to, that, this is why with the high usage amortization and the lower electricity, you can deliver rides to people cheaper than owning your own car. In the long run, that's 10 years away. Maybe, maybe less than 10 years away, but it's about 10 years away. And this is a key difference. In a place like Thailand, the human driver is less expensive, so I think we will see robo-taxis in wealthy countries first. This is coming. Tesla revealed this a month ago. When was that, about a month ago? The full video of my presentation is available to ex-subscribers, to YouTube channel members, and to supporters on Patreon. Please consider supporting me on one of those platforms so you can get full access to videos like this. And thank you so much for your support. Check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Thanks, everybody.